I'm going to start off by straightening my hair. I'm going to be using the Numi straightening iron. This one is one of the smaller straightening irons that they have. It's not like the other, like the Mega Star or any of those. This one came with my curling wand. It's called the Curl Jam Set. I will list it down below in case you guys are interested. I've had this for years now and I still love it. It still works great. So the way I'm going to be straightening my hair today is kind of different. I take a layer of hair just like this. I'm going to take my brush and if you have like any knots just brush through them a little bit and I'm just gonna take it and straighten through starting straight at the root and going all the way down and when I straighten the hair I don't hold I hold the straightening iron like kind of at a curve once I get down like this instead of like just going straight out I go like this I don't know if that makes any sense, but that way the bottom is not super straight. It kind of has a little bit of a wave to it. When I'm up here, I straighten straight and then I just curl down. So then I just pass the hair and <laughs> clip it to the side. Then I'm going to take another piece. I like to just take it all the way down. You see what I'm doing here? Just grab it and split it all the way down and take a long layer. Instead of taking like short layers like that, I take the whole strip and then I just straighten through it. Don't mind my daughter, please. She's just being crazy. So again, I start at the root, and then I go straight first, and then I kind of curl down. Not too curled, because you don't want to have a curl. Obviously, I'm straightening my hair. But just so that the ends aren't super straight, and they have just a little bit of a wave. And again, pass it to this side. And oh my god, look at all these baby hairs I have. I'm just going to show you guys one more. Like I just split it all the way back. And I feel a little knot in there, so I'm going to just brush through. I bought this brush at the dollar store, by the way, and I've had this brush for so long. One time the thing popped out, like all of the little bristles popped out, but I just pop it back in. And again, I just kind of straighten the whole thing. You always want to get straight into the root in there, especially if you're a person that has more curly hair. If you don't get all the way in that root, you're going to have like waviness towards the scalp and I see that happen to a lot of girls but if you want to that not to happen to you you gotta get straight into that root area one thing I love about this straightening iron is that it does not like my hair does not get caught on it and I think that's a big reason why I'm able to do this because if you're a person that has a kind of like a straightening iron from the drugstore maybe those really do pull your hair you might not be able to do this you're probably gonna have to get shorter strands of hair and I literally just keep adding the hair to the other side till I'm done and I know I look pretty retarded right now probably but it's kind of like right here I'm just gonna split it and grab this hair sorry if it seems confusing you can straighten your hair however you want because maybe this is really confusing for you or something or maybe not maybe it's actually easier who knows so I'm starting really close to the root there and then I kind of turn the thing and go straight and then kind of curl it a little bit at the bottom and then I just have this strand left and I just brush through it, start at the bottom. If you have a knot, it comes off right away. So again, just... So once I'm done doing half of my hair, I'm going to take off the clip. And I'm just going to bring it all this way and there you have it. And you see how when you curve it a little bit, this is not like super straight. It has that little wave and it kind of frames your face. So now I'm going to be doing the same exact thing to the other side of my hair. I'm going to fast forward it so I don't bore you guys to death with my video. So most of the time 
I just tease it with my hands and like kind of do yeah, this, add yeah. hairspray, walk out the door, and I don't really like when that happens because my hair is so flat. I'm sorry if I keep pulling my shirt down, I keep pulling it down and it keeps going. Up. Sorry. But pretty much every time I do videos and stuff like that, I always have time to tease my hair, fix my hair. That's why it always looks so good in my videos. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that right now. I'm not trying to encourage everyone to tease their hair. That's just what I do. And if you guys want to see how I do my hair, then I have to show you guys how I tease my hair, right? Because I do that all the time. Anyways, this is the hairspray that I use, and I'm going to be using this little brush here. This is a brush that's full of hair. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to be parting my hair here first. Since my hair is really clean and really, like, flat, I really have to tease it and give it a lot of volume myself because it doesn't obviously have by itself. Anyways, I'm going to take the hairspray and... Far out here, don't spray this close to your hair because it's going to get really crispy and crunchy. So out here, spray it and then spray it and this is where you're going to want to tease. So I take the brush, one, two, three, four, five, like that. I just tease in this area right here. So take another maybe inch and I'm going to spray it and then spray it. Oops. I like to spray both sides, yeah. and then again, I'm going to be one, yeah. two, three, four, five, teasing it. And then maybe I might do a little bit more down here. It just really depends. And then just flip it over to the side, and this is where I like to use my clip. Just really lightly hold your hair that way. So doing the same thing, I spray this side, and I spray So I start at the root and then I go out as I go along and then again bring it down that way. Do the same thing. Spray, spray. Just like that. Pass it to the other side. And then last layer down here. Spray, spray. Tease, 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 tease. Keep going. Actually tease like, I don't know, I don't even know why I say five because I just tease it to where it looks like that. So once you get here, you're just going to lay this down and it's going to be super poofy like that. You're going to want to just comb through the top just to kind of take away any of the top knots. Any hair that's like popping out so it can look smooth like this. If you do it too much, you're going to brush out the little knots, brush out your tease you just pretty much did. And it's literally going to defeat the purpose. So again, pass it to the other side. Brush it through just a little bit really lightly I'm not doing anything hard and again pass this one to the Hello. and then just brush through really lightly okay see So now you should have something like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other Now I'm going to be doing the bag and I'm going to try to just face this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. knots again see how there's like a little knot here I'm actually gonna comb it out because it does not look cute so this is what you should have left and then I just kind of spray my hair all around so this is what it should look like 
To finish my hair off, I actually already used this last night. I forgot to tell you guys, when I get out of the shower, I like to apply this on my hair because it makes it really shiny. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to just be putting this on the ends of my hair. Don't use too much or your hair is going to look too greasy. So here you have it guys, this is the way I like to style my hair, tease it and all that good stuff, the products that I use. It's not that hard, right? I hope it wasn't so hard. Um, if this video was helpful for you, please give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of my face and I will see you guys on my next one.